Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Friday, July 15th, 2016. The tarot card for today is the Eight of Pentacles. This one comes to us from the beautiful, yet-to-be-released Star Tarot by Kathy McClellan, and I am so certain that I had seen that it was going to be available this month. But I see upon double-checking on her website that it now says early 2017. So I will keep you apprised. But in the meantime, whenever, you know, I deem it possible, we shall use one of her gorgeous cards. Now, let's talk about this Eight of Pentacles because it just fits right in with the flow of the cards that we've had this week. What is going on in your life? Because this card is all about details and handling those details. Now, these could be personal details. Perhaps you're working on buying a new home or finding a new place of residence or working on your financials. But this is regarding taking extra care when doing so, like paying attention to each facet of it. In other words, this is the kind of work where if you have projects to be completed in your life, work with a list and make sure that you have not stopped until you have finished everything that you've done. Very often this involves, you know, burning that midnight oil in order to be able to accomplish the entire task. But it seems important to get it all hammered out and get it done right because that kind of perfection in your work, whether, like I said, whether it's work details or personal details, is to your benefit, okay? So you could also find yourself in the process of learning new things. And I've been noticing lately a lot of people coming to me for readings who are like, well, you know, Cecilia, I do this, but I'd really like to do that. Yes, you know, I have to tell you, do it. Go and do it. Because things that even I thought over the years, well, I don't have time for that. Then when there was finally some time, I'm like, mm, you know, I just, I don't know. You know, it, it seems like it takes a lifetime to, to learn this. Do I want to do this? Yeah, it's that kind of thing. Go do it. Pay attention to the details. You are never too old to learn something new. And you know what? It, you'll be so thankful that you did. Because this is the kind of thing where if you take on... How can, how can we put this? Right now to me, in almost any job that you have, knowing and understanding social media is more to your benefit than you can possibly imagine, all right? Start with the basics. Learn. Learn as much as you can. Because if you are hoping to improve yourself, improve your worth, and be able to to truly survive in today's world and go forward in such a way that you like complete all of these tasks that you've been trying to do, you'll find that knowing more is going to benefit you. Even if it's not something that you use daily, learning new software, learning how to use various accounts, the, you know, more ins and outs of Facebook. You may be working somewhere and perhaps they're not utilizing it enough to expand the business. So yesterday's card was about expansion. So you see, there's so many ways that you can be using this energy. So even if it's not personal, you know, working out details in your own life, you could be on the verge of doing something very special within your job that brings you great recognition down the road because you took the time and the initiative to learn what was going on out there. And you may be able to show up one day and present people with, you know, we could be doing this and we could be doing that, that type of thing. So remember, learn, learn, learn. You're never too old. There is so much to be known. You could never possibly know anything. 
but the more knowledge you fill yourself with, and a lot of you also want to learn things pertaining to other areas of spirituality, that is fine, okay? But I always remind people, don't get so heavy into the spiritual stuff that you forget to tend to your actual life, or you're going to be sitting there wondering why the spiritual stuff did not help you. When it comes to spirituality, just go forth and be kind. Be kind to one another, and you'll figure out your spiritual purpose along the way. Now, I can't say enough about this card because it has a lot of integrity associated with it, that taking pride in your work. Do so with everything that you do, and you will never be disappointed in the outcome. So, I want to thank you all for listening, and I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.